hello everyone welcome to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so this time i am going to show you how to spawn a blood particle like this when this character get hit okay so this is what we are going to work today and this episode is sponsored by my patreons thank you very much for the support you are giving me all right let's start it so first uh, i need blood particles in order to spawn particles and i have already imported some particle effects into this project so actually i am not going to explain how does these particles uh, are created uh, if you need that part also please let me know in the comment section i will do a different a separate episode on that too so this time i am going to i am only going to focus on how to and where to spawn particles but blood particles in order to show the hits so this would be a continuation from our previous episode and so i'll go to my character human class and here we have this on weapon hit method called so this is uh, when this is called when ever one of these uh, human characters are hit by a weapon so this is the on weapon hit and so where should i spawn blood particle i think it would be better if i do it here because uh, i need to spawn it on the spawn uh, on the impact point so how do we so how do we identify the impact point well one thing i can do is uh, i already have this hit location of the blade and i can spawn a blood particle there spawn particle like this spawn particle attached and well not attached let's try like this spawn particle emit at location right and as the particle template i'll choose blood this one impact blood right well let's see how does it look here okay well we have a little problem because the spawn position of this blood particle is different from the hit location right so let's fix it well let's uh, try this one instead of this let's spawn like this spawn particle emitter attached and as the attached component i'll give this 
plate and as the attach point I'll give this hit location socket and as the particle system I'll give P blood right let's see how does it look now I don't see a particle effect at all. Why is that? Well, maybe this is the reason. Instead of keep relative offset, I'll snap to target. Right, let's see. No, why is that? Well, let's go back to old one. Mm, spawn particle at location and as the particle. Actually, I'm not sure why didn't the last thing we tried work but let's see like this so instead of give, giving directly this location I'll do something like this I'll get this location and the location of this enemy at the location and then I'll break this here and then I'll break this one as well no then I'll do a minus like this and and normalize this I'll explain you in a minute what I'm trying to do here if this works and get again this one and I'll multiply this with the uh, what is the radius of our capsule? 34, right? With uh, 34, I'll add 40. This and plug it here. Let's see if we have. Let's see if we have good, better results with that. right okay I think that's better so right okay this is good no now I'll explain about that calculation I just did so it is like this so this is the blades hit location in case you don't remember I'll show that this is our blade and this is the hit location and it is just a socket I added to this static mesh and with this part I'm getting the hit location of that blade and this yellow line represents that word location of that place and this one with this one I get the enemies location and by subtracting enemies location from beds hit location I get the direction from the blades hit location point 
get the direction from actor to this blade heat location point then by uh, actually that's not a direction that's just a vector and by normalizing it I get the normal direction uh, get the direction vector so uh, this is the direction vector and then by multiplying it with 40 I get a vector which has a length of 40 from the actors location towards the location of that uh, blades heat location all right and then I add that resulting vector to my closest enemies location so then I get uh, the closest uh, the most uh, suitable heat point the reason to put 40 is because our capsule radius is 34 so I added 40 so if I decrease this the blood spawn point will be closer to the enemy I'll show you so I have put 30 now so as you can see it is a little closer now okay so right I think uh, that would be enough for this episode in the next episode I will add a blood trail uh, which will follow this uh, sword uh, like a trail and also we will work on adding uh, dropped blood splatters on the ground as well all right see you in the next video and also please uh, feel free to check my patreon account as well i will put some more stuff in there about this combat system uh, uh, system all right see you in the next episode goodbye